right. Match made in heaven for me because I love the hot weather. I know you do, <laughs> and I know you're a little disappointed yeah, about yeah. the 4th of July yeah. uh, weekend, but we are looking out for the rest of the summer, okay. and this is your kind of summer weather. Um, we are looking at the long-range forecast. When this came out, I was deep in hoop fest fun and didn't get a chance to pass this along. This is from the Center for Climate Prediction. We are looking at the long-range forecast July, August, and September. Temperature indications a strong signal of above average temperatures for that three month time period. We have had hot summer after hot summer uh, here lately and this summer appears to be uh, no exception with hot weather with uh, continuing for the next three months. Dry conditions as well, uh, not as strong a single but signal, but you can see we are definitely into the drier than average uh, conditions for the July, August, and September time period. Of course, really not the forecast uh, we want to see considering last year's fire season. We've had uh, some wet weather through spring, but that cannot carry us much further. Uh, hopefully we will see some uh, time periods where we'll get some rainfall uh, to undo some of the damage of a hot, dry summer and a hot, dry week ahead. 90 right now in Spokane. That has been our high so far today. Relative humidity, just 14% northwest winds at six miles per hour. I swear that temperature was there when I checked it right before I did this segment. It was 90. I'm getting some issues from the uh, monitor there at the Coeur d'Alene Airport. Northwest winds at five miles per hour. On our northwest radar, we do have some showers and thunderstorms along the east slopes of the northern Cascades. Most of the thunderstorms activity north and into Canada. This will be coming to an end later this evening. A broader view on our satellite and radar shows a ridge of high pressure in place over the region, which is going to be hanging tough through the end of the work week. And then we're going to start to see some cooler air pushing in. Good news, if you don't like it hot, we are going to also see an increase in winds as that cooler air makes its way in. And that could raise some concerns about fire danger heading into the long 4th of July weekend. Meanwhile, on our national satellite and radar, some showers and thunderstorms from the mid-Atlantic through the deep south. Flooding a concern there. Severe weather tonight has been popping up in eastern Colorado as well as parts of Nebraska. Three reported tornadoes so far today. Current temperatures across the nation. 99 in Salt Lake City and Boise. 80 in Seattle. 84 right now in Portland. 108 in Phoenix. We've cooled down a little bit for the eastern two-thirds of the country. 70s and 80s where last week there were more 80s and 90s. Here is your seven-day forecast. 91 for the next three days. Not a lot of variety there. Blue skies, sunshine, overnight lows in the 60s. A little bit cooler Friday. A little bit cooler still on Saturday. That's still lake weather. And then mid-70s yeah. for Sunday and Monday with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Feeling quite confident about the cooler weather pushing its way in. Not as confident about the potential for thunderstorms. So stay tuned for updates on that. Okay, we will. Thank you, Chris. And mm -hmm. here's